Over the past few years, due to the COVID-19 pandemic highlighting a lack of trust in official information, there has been a rise in an infodemically vulnerable population. This group lacks the necessary media and information literacy skills to differentiate between reliable and unreliable information. The vulnerability is often connected to social inequalities based on age, gender, education and income. It emphasizes the challenges faced by citizens, especially those from vulnerable groups, in distinguishing fact from fiction online, identifying gaps in their media literacy skills and finding effective ways to address these gaps. Micmac adopts a train-the-trainers strategy to bridge these gaps. The Micmac training program has been developed thanks to funding from the European Media and Information Fund managed by the Kalust Gulbenkian Foundation to support educators working with vulnerable learners by acquiring the media and information literacy skills required to enhance teaching and learning experiences. By empowering educators, Micmac aims to enhance the media and information literacy skills of these learners. Our analysis of educators' needs, conducted through preliminary research, revealed a common concern. Educators highlighted the overwhelming presence of social media platforms, leading learners, especially young individuals, to be excessively exposed to information. This exposure reinforces their tendency to interpret and understand information without questioning it. The primary example for educators is to counter the influence of social media influencers in order to foster curiosity among young people. It is important for them to encourage students to question what influencers say and delve deeper into the information they find online. However, in order to tackle this challenge, educators themselves need to have a better understanding of the digital world in which students operate. Some participants have pointed out that educators lack the necessary skills and knowledge about the digital lives of young people. This includes not only the technologies and tools that students use, but also the types of content they access. This lack of understanding makes it difficult for educators to protect vulnerable learners from online harm and misinformation. On the other hand, learners face their own challenges when it comes to misinformation. They have a general distrust in mainstream media and existing channels and often experience information overload. Social media, which is a primary source of information for many young learners, exposes them to misinformation and disinformation. Additionally, some learners also encounter online safety challenges such as cyberbullying, internet addiction and vulnerability to scams. We have also examined practical interventions aimed at developing media and information literacy competence frameworks and training programs. Through this analysis, we have gathered information which has helped us identify the most effective methodologies and approaches for media and information literacy training. This has allowed us to determine the key areas of content that need to be addressed in order to prevent the spread of misinformation and disinformation. The study's results were later applied in developing the Micmac Competence Framework, which emphasizes three essential competence domains. Domain A – Contextual Competences These competences are essential for grasping the media and information literacy environment along with the disinformation landscape, understanding its origin and impacts. This category includes skills such as critical thinking and evaluating media and information, as well as soft skills like empathy, intercultural communication and managing relationships necessary for dealing with deep-seated beliefs and promoting cooperation and understanding between conflicting viewpoints. Domain B – Core Media and Information Literacy Competences this focuses on supporting educators to acquire the necessary knowledge and skills in media and information literacy. By doing so, they will be able to support vulnerable individuals in improving their own media and information literacy. This domain covers important areas such as searching for, accessing and verifying online information and content. 
It also focuses on analyzing and comparing information and content, as well as promoting security and responsible use. Domain C – Techno-Pedagogic Competences has two specific focuses. Firstly, it emphasizes the importance of utilizing tools, especially digital tools, to help educators design and deliver effective teaching and learning activities in the classroom during media and information literacy training. Secondly, it highlights the need to equip educators with the skills necessary to work with learners who are particularly vulnerable to misinformation. One of the main objectives is to empower educators to guide citizens in engaging in responsible public discourse, building media and information resilience, and mitigating the negative impact of disinformation. The MicMac course was created to reflect the competence train work. It's available in five languages – English, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and Swedish – and consists of nine gamified scenarios three per each competence domain, linked to 27 training modules with original content, encompassing the 27 competencies found within the three main domains. The scenarios present critical incidents with three levels of complexity, drawing inspiration from current events and real situations shared by teachers and learners during interviews. A team of 12 authors, all experts in higher education and vocational education, have developed the contents. The learning resources are designed with a focus on accommodating various learning styles, habits and time constraints of educators. The course highlights micro-learning along with gamification by presenting information through short videos, downloadable podcasts and traditional text formats. Additionally, the course provides recommended readings, classroom activity suggestions and a list of over 150 bibliographical references. To enhance the training program, MicMac provides valuable information on various topics related to media and information literacy, such as the role of libraries and librarians, best educational practices to tackle disinformation, algorithms and their role in misinformation spreading, the ethics of artificial intelligence in university classrooms, using debate and gaming to foster students' fact-checking skills, privacy, cybersecurity and disinformation, disinformation and young people's mental health. We have conducted four transnational webinars in English and four local webinars in Italian, Portuguese and Swedish. You can find the recordings of these webinars on the Micmac YouTube channel. The MicMac course pilot took place between January and March 2024. 247 users successfully completed the course. The number of enrolled users exceeded our expectations, and we were thrilled to see the many positive reviews participants sent us. Even after the closure of the pilot test, many educators are still actively participating in the course and in the MicMac Knowledge Community on Facebook. Both the MicMac course and knowledge community are completely free, open to anyone through self-enrollment, and will continue to be available even after the project concludes. Join us!